The decision itself is uh, great for the series and for Test cricket. The team is extremely satisfied with the ruling that has been made. We believe that KG never deliberately charged Stephen Smith with his shoulder. We do understand, though, that KG is quite a fiery character on the field, but there are rules and regulations that govern the conduct on the field. Like every other player, this applies to KG as well, and he is well aware of it. He is the first to admit that he must take better responsibility and better handle his positive and aggressive celebration, and not to get careless nor to be disrespectful. At the same time, we will always support our players in situations like these where we believe that the code of conduct has been unfairly enforced upon us. We would also like to thank the entire South African public and fans worldwide for their messages of support during this time. It's safe to say that there were, there were definitely key learnings uh, for everybody. I think it will allow, it will stimulate healthy debate and it might even allow for people to sit around the table because the ICC are the custodians uh, of the game after all. And we may have to look at things around processes, independent judicial commissions, uh, words in the, in, in the code of conduct manual. So those are the kind of debates that would take place. And we as South Africa will be, ha will be happy to contribute to that. It will be a miss of me not to thank Cricket South Africa's legal team for the sterling work done at such short notice. Uh, the, the two teams that were involved were renowned sports lawyers back in Associates and obviously Cricket South Africa commissioned Advocate Dali in Pofu together with some of his junior counsel to get involved. And this was done, as you, as you can well understand, may well understand, at very short notice. And uh, we're very pleased with their efforts and we're very grateful and thankful to them. Yeah, for sure it is. Um, you know, the number one baller in the world um, being allowed to play cricket um, is exciting for everybody concerned. I don't think we need to pump him up anymore, eh? <laughs> uh, obviously, you know, we're very happy that he's allowed to play. Um, and we all believe that it's the right decision at the end of the day. Um, and, you know, we, he's been made very much aware of his, his sort of on-field celebration. I don't want to say behavior because he's not a bad behaved kid. You know, he's just very excited and exuberant sometimes. Um, when you're playing against the best team in the world, sometimes that come out of you. Um, you know, they, they, in all the stuff that he did, there was nothing, no ag aggressive intent other than celebrating a wicket. Um, but we've made him aware of, you know, the batsman's space and his, where his space needs to be. So he must get away from the batsman and, and continue to celebrate and continue certainly to bowl the way he's been bowling over the last two weeks, which has been outstanding. Him being available simplifies a lot of things for us. He's the best bowler in the world for sure. Uh, and then we will definitely be releasing guys, um, some probably as early as tomorrow, um, to go. Obviously, there's a very important um, round of some foil games coming up this weekend as well. So we'll certainly be releasing some guys. Uh, we're still sort of putting together the sort of final 11 at the stage. So we don't know yet um, where, where else we can, we're going to try and make a change. So, but all of, all of that will become a lot clearer this afternoon after practice. He's a smart kid and he's, I'm sure, learned his lesson from, from what happened um, last week. And I don't expect that he will make the same mistake again. Look, he, he's a very strong character, you know, and he came after six hours in a, in a courtroom, as you call it, yesterday. He came and all he wanted to do was practice, you know, that's what, that's what the guy loves doing. Um, you know, and like I said, it's, we're very pleased that he's been allowed to do that for the, for the rest of the series. And he's, he's also, like I said, been made very much aware of his responsibility going forward, not just to himself, but to the team as well. He's an important miss for the team. If he's not, if he's not available, then he's an important, too, too much of an important player for us to have something like this go on again. So we've made him aware of that. But like you saw yesterday, he came out and I had to almost force him to warm up because all he wanted to do was get stuck in it with his teammates. I think we got some momentum from the fact that we won the last test match. Um, KG was going to be a big miss, um, like I said, and the reason why Cricket South Africa fought the case because we didn't, we didn't think that it, it merited um, a suspension. Um, so we're obviously happy, delighted in fact that we've won, we've won that case. and. Him being available for us lifts everybody. You know, again, he's he's been outstanding in this series so far, and he's the number one bowler in the world. You know, and um, I think I saw somewhere as well the Aussies said they wanted to play against the best teams uh, and the best players. So I'm sure they also will be delighted that he's playing if if that's what they're saying. You know, so I'm sure that 
for everybody concerned in cricket, we all feel like perhaps it is it is the right call after all.